Fargo is turning 50 this summer. As usual, the best men, women, freestyle, Greco, cadet, and junior athletes in the country will go to Fargo and they will cut their teeth and they will make an impact on the sport again. Case in point, Jaden Cox and Kyle Snyder. Now, you can't have much more star power than that. And before they were winning world and Olympic medals, Overseas, they were wrestling in Fargo against each other in Greco-Roman and freestyle wrestling in 2012. Now, combined, they have seven World and Olympic medals, including four golds. And it hasn't even been 10 years since they tussled in Fargo. Spay, don't forget, they won six NCAA titles between the two of them. That's not so bad. Let's talk about the women for a second, though. Fargo only started hosting women's national tournaments in 2002. But since then, the impact that those women have made has been absolutely incredible. Did you know that four out of the six women's Olympians won Fargo titles. Now, if you were watching in 2007, 2008, you might have caught Helen Rules and Adeline Gray winning their national titles in Fargo, and you might be just watching some of the most decorated women in U.S. wrestling history. That's right, and there's also Kayla Miracle and Sarah Hildebrandt. Uh, they were both just in Guatemala winning Pan Am gold. Uh, they were also in Fargo several years ago winning junior national titles. And soon, they'll be in Tokyo seeking Olympic gold. As if Fargo's usual schedule wasn't enough for everyone, the crazy people who we love, by the way, at USA Wrestling have decided to tack on one more day of wrestling. That's right, they are going to have the 2021 World Team Trials Last Chance Qualifier before Fargo even starts. So tune in a day early. Now that move isn't so unprecedented by our friends at USA Wrestling. In 2019, three-time NCAA champ Bo Nickel was back in Fargo winning a wrestle-off against Jake Woodley to claim the U23 world team spot a mere six years after winning a junior national title in 2013. Nickel then traveled to Budapest and promptly won a U23 world gold medal. Fargo has always been the home for some of the most intense action that has taken place on high school mats. And recently, the one I want you to think about is Trent Hydley, Aaron Brooks. These guys came barreling towards the camera and almost went off the stage. Check it out. Ow! <laughs> that is high flying acrobatics. <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what that was. Oh, what was that? Four years later, Brooks and Hydley were back on the main stage, this time on ESPN, in primetime, wrestling for an NCAA title. So what future stars can you expect to see this year on the 50th iteration of Fargo? I'll tell you. Spade, did you know that the top recruit in the class of 2024, Mason Gibson, will be on stage in Fargo this year? Very nice. Yeah. Class of 2024, you say? I do. So all these guys are going to be born after the year 2000. I guess. I'm going to have to get used to that. I'm going to have to get used to that. Well, you know who you should also keep an eye out for, who we expect to see in Fargo? Cody Chittum and Nick Feldman. Both of those guys are top pound-for-pound -pound wrestlers in the nation. Nick Feldman, future Buckeye, and Chittum just committed to the University of Minnesota. Going to go for land. You ready for this one? Anthony Knox hasn't even wrestled a high school match yet. He's favored in Fargo this year. Don't say you weren't warned. Wow, young ones. And then uh, don't forget the women's brackets. Now more and more hammers sign up every year. The numbers are growing, and you're going to see people like uh, Nyla Valencia, who just won a California state championship. Now she's going to be going for a national title in Fargo. We could keep going, but you get the idea. Fargo's turning 50 this summer. Watch wrestling's future stars get their hand raised in Fargo. 